Historical Evidence of the Rock Mr. James Charles Worth made some interesting observations in his essay, Jesus, Early Jewish Literature and Archaeology. Prior to the 19th century, there were no competing sites for Golgotha. In the late 1970s, excavators exposed part of the foundations of Hadrian's Roman Forum in which the Temple of Aphrodite was constructed around 125 CE. This temple had buried Golgotha and perhaps Jesus' tomb. Now, major discoveries confirm, in my opinion, that the Church of the Holy Sepulchre houses the rock on which Jesus was crucified. It is now clear, thanks to excavations in the late 1970s, that a rock inside the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, and traditionally called Calvary, still rises approximately 13 meters above the bedrock. The exposed rock, moreover, bears the marks of ancient quarrying. It is a rejected portion of an ancient pre-exilic Israelite white stone Malachi quarry. By the first century BCE, this area had evolved from a 7th to 8th century rock quarry to a refuse dump and finally to a burial site. Since Jewish tombs clearly predating 70 are visible, it is possible that the final phase in the first century before 70 was a garden as described by the author of John. See John 1941. I am convinced that it is on this exposed fist of rejected rock that Jesus had been crucified. It was outside the walls and near a public road in 30. Hence it fits all the Jewish, see Leviticus 24.14 and Mishnah Sanharin 6.1 and Roman requirements for a spot of executions. Perhaps the early Christians living in Jerusalem knew what archaeologists only recently have discovered. It is possible that they celebrated Jesus' crucifixion by reciting Psalms 118.22. The stone which the builders rejected, this has become the head of the corner. In fact, this tradition recorded in 1 Peter 2.7 is also attributed by Luke to Peter when he spoke to the high priest in Jerusalem. This is the stone which was rejected by your builders. Acts 4.11 The pronoun this could be a double entendre for both Calvary and Jesus. This book is available to download in its entirety for free at smashwords.com and eventually here on YouTube. If you want to hear more, subscribe to this channel. God bless.